Yo, what's going on? We are back with our Out of the Park 2022 uh, playthrough. I know I haven't set the scene in a while, so we are in year 2025 uh, of managing and GMing the Pittsburgh Pirates. We are, they are my hometown team. I love the Pirates so much. Uh, I really do, actually. And uh, I would love to see them win a World Series in real life. So in lieu of that not happening anytime soon, I want to win a World Series on here. I have not won a World Series with the Pirates on an out-of-the-park baseball game, I think, since like 2000. And I think I was living in Detroit at the time. So it was 2017 or 18 or something like that. So it's just been, it's been quite a while. And um, I don't think I played through as much as I did now. Definitely didn't record back then, but didn't actually sit down. I did a lot, a lot more, you know, oh, sim half a season, you know, sim an entire season and just see kind of what happened. So uh, I really want to win one as we're going kind of day by day through these through these seasons. Uh, so we uh, simulated after starting 0-3 and getting swept by the Reds in some recent playthroughs. Uh, we had a strong month of April. We came back, looked pretty good. The hitting turned around. Uh, the pitching uh, looks good as well. We just have really maybe one potential problem spot, but we're in the thick of the NL Central race. So we have a, a series against the Brewers coming up, the division-leading Brewers. Um, and uh, we'll see. We, we shall see how it goes here. So um, I would like to see if I don't really want to throw Fuentes out if there's someone else who is who can go today yeah let's let's throw Kumar back out there because I you know if Fuentes is getting rocked like this let's not let's not have him pitch that much so all right so we'll go back to the schedule here so it looks like we have three against the Brewers three against the Padres Reds uh, Cardinals Dodgers Brewers I mean this is a tough month June looks like it might be a little bit better. June and July looks like they might be all right. So does September. But May looks brutal, and April was pretty brutal too. The first half at least was. So let's see how we do in May. We'll start. Let's get the big series win against the or the series uh, the series opening game win against the Brewers. Nine to two win. Okay, that's scary. That always petrifies me when that comes up. And Ronzi uh, is injured. That scares me as well. Kumar Rocker only out for four days. But forearm cramps, that is petrifying. And that leads me to believe that something may happen here down the road. I hope not. I hope I'm so wrong. But anyways, we shall enjoy it while we have it. So 9-2 to win. Madrigal 2 for 5. He's up over 200 now. Uh, Blade two for four, Thomas two for three, so pretty good all around. Kumar Rocker, um, one and two thirds innings pitched, and then our boy Ronzi. Oh my God, three pitchers in a row just straight hurt. Oh, what the fudge happened there? Well. Matt Hall, three to three to four weeks. Looks like he was pitching pretty well for the Buckos this year. So it looks like we maybe brought up Travis McGregor. No, 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 we had him up. Santiago Flores, I think, is the one that we is the player we just brought up. So we'll go to pitching. All right, <clears throat> so let's see here. Can we take game number two and ensure the series victory? 9-3 to three win. Quite impressive. Oh, looks like the Brewers have a little Casey Mize coming up. I just noticed that. Uh, but Madrigal, four for five. He's turning it on. He's up over the Mendoza line now. <laughs> let's go. There we go. Um Blade two for four with four RBI. Boom, three for three with two RBI. And then Hayes, one for three with two RBI. Fuentes, eight innings pitch, 12K. Look, who is this man? Someone come get their man. 12K, seven hits, eight innings pitch, three runs. Ho, oh, ho, the old Steven Fuentes. And then look at old Santiago down here. It's just 
snagging that little one inning and two Ks on there and nine pitches. All right. All right. I like this. Uh, so I'm interested to see what happened to Ronzi, though. We'll see after this series. So let's see. Can we get the series sweep? We cannot. Ronzi is out for four to five weeks. Uh, that ain't good, as they say. So it looks like we brought up David Bednar, which is actually petrifying to me. Um, I think he pitched well maybe in the last time we had him, but it's been quite a while. So we'll go to the pitching screen. We're two games back from the Cardinals. Like I said, the Cardinals have a bomb team this year. Um... Let's see, where are we at in the wild card? Okay, we're, we're tied for uh, second wild card right now. Our division looks pretty stacked, to be quite honest. So, all right, so now we got the Padres again, who the Padres in the last month we took three or four games from. So hopefully we can do just uh, the same against them. 7-2 to two win. I like that. Um, Blade, 4-4. Four for four. Uh, Royce Lewis, 2-4 for four with three RBI. And then Paddock, eight and a third, nine Ks, ten hits, uh, two runs. Uh, Blade player of the game. Oh, Shohei Otani injured. That sucks. That sucks. I hate that. I wish that didn't happen. He wasn't pitching well anyway, but uh, 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 one to two weeks. I saw the orange, and I thought, oh, maybe he was just out for a little while. But such a bummer with him continually getting hurt. Um, all right, so we got the first game against the Padres. Let's see if we can clinch the series win. We can't. Let's see if we can clinch it now this game. We do. Nick Madrigal hurt again. I, I just don't. Back spasms, moderate one week. Okay, I'm going to manually put him on the, the injured list. Because I don't want him to... He gets injured quite a bit, and I don't want to... Um, I don't want it to get worse than it, than, it already, than it already is. So, I mean, we have adequate depth there. Uh, Royce Lewis can play second base. We have Cole Tucker that can play short. We have Steven Alamaze. We have Nick Gonzalez. So, we have depth. It's okay. We can let Madrigal uh, sit for a week, I think. Pitching is another story, but um, we took the 10-3 victory here. Uh, let's see who had the big game. Um, Lewis went two for four. Hayes, two for two for three with two walks. Again, bottom of the order. Kelly, two for five with three RBI. Kelly's acquitting himself well. 260, that's right where we need him. That's right where we need him. And then Alamace, two for four. Uh, he's played one relief. Rocker, 3-0. Uh, this he's. I would say even though his strikeouts are down this game and his game scores down, I think limiting the hits, um, ah, the walks, still high on walks, um, I would say one of his better games. So Madrigal looks like he was hurt running the bases. So, all right. So we got the day off, and now we have the Reds. Where do the Reds stand now? Uh, Reds are 7-14, and 14, so they're right in the thick of it as well. Uh, this division's good. Three teams with a 600 uh, winning percentage. Of course, this had to be the year all the teams were good. So, Steven Fuentes going. Let's see if Steven Fuentes can r replicate his last uh, outing and not his previous four before that. So, going against Nick uh, Lodolo, this will be a tough game to win. Yep, lost 4-2. to 7 nothing. We got the series, series lost there. And then we mitigated it with a 13-5 to win. So... Boom, 5-for-5 five five with 4 RBI. Blade 3-for-6 with 3 RBI. So this is what it's like when you have a lineup that mashes. <laughs> um, Paddock, 7 and 2 thirds, uh, 7 Ks, 8 hits, uh, no walks, just being the bomb per usual. All right, so we have 3 against the Cardinals. Let's see what that little series did to us there. Still 2 games back. Um, let's see what we can do against the, the Redbirds here. So... Uh, twelve to seven loss, eight to three win. Let's check that out. Looks like we needed six runs in the seventh in order to do it. But hey, it doesn't matter when you get them as long as you do. Uh, Thomas went four for four. Beer went four for five. Bone went two for four. Senzel went two for four. Sixteen hits total. Wow. Yeah, this is what it's like when your when your team mashes. Kumar Rocker still a perfect four and zero. Oh, eight and two thirds. 
Now, this is a 72 game score. This is his best outing this year. 10 Ks, three hits, uh, four walks. Alec Thomas, player of the game, four for four with three runs in an RBI and a walk. We'll do that. Um, still keep forgetting. I keep forgetting to look at stolen bases here. Maybe we're just not stealing anything. Okay, let's get the series win against the Cardinals. This would be big. 4 3 win. Let's go. Uh, this one light on the hits here. Uh, didn't have any multi hit player. I'd like to see how many games in a row we've had multi hit, uh, a multi hit player. But um, Blade had, he drove in two runs. Hayes and Kelly also drove in another. And we won it in the bottom of the ninth. So the Cardinals came back to tie it, it looks like, in the top of the sixth. And we took it in the bottom of the ninth with Hayes, walk off hero. Um, run scoring single ended the game. So way to go, Cabrian Hayes. Fuentes eight and two thirds, six Ks, seven hits, three runs. Um, uh, Trevor Rogers uh, gets the win <laughs> with a literal third inning pitched, uh, and we beat Joe Musgrove there. Uh, Fuentes he didn't get the win, but he is uh, rounding into shape right now. Maybe he just needed to dust the or dust the, or uh, knock the rust off. I was going to say dust the rust. It doesn't make any sense. So game and a half back from first place, halfway through the month. Now we have a four-game series with the old Dodgers coming up. And let's see, are they... Oh, looks like how the mighty have uh, fallen maybe a little bit here. Uh, so the Dodgers are in the wild card hunt. So not as dominant maybe as years past, but looks like they have Dylan Cease, Pablo Lopez, Clayton Kershaw still pitching. And no idea how that's possible. Then Walker uh, Bueller. They still have the horses, so this will be tough. I mean, we're going down Murderer's Row right here, so this will be this will be a measuring stick series, as I like to call them. So let's see. Game one, 4-1 loss. Game two, 2-1 loss. Game three, 5-1 win. Nick Madrigal, you're back. Okay. Hopefully you feel better, my friend. He didn't lose his job. That's good to see. And, okay, so let's see if we can now get a – Series split with the Dodgers, losing the first two. And let's see, can we beat Bueller to split? That's going to be tough. Oh, 5-3 win. I want to see what happened there. Uh, looks like we might have to knock Bueller out of the game. Yep. Uh, or we knocked Bueller out of the game to win. Um, but he was going strong there before we did. Madrigal comes back in his return from injury, 2-5. for five. Uh, Hayes went 2-4. for four. Uh, Pretty low-key day for everyone else outside of there. Uh, Kumar Rocker was injured. See, I fucking knew it. I knew it. I hope it's, is it serious? Okay, sore back. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, Seth Beer was injured. Is that, is that, okay, it doesn't look like it's serious then. All right, overreacted to the Kumar Rocker thing. I just, I'm afraid with him keep, keep showing up on this report though that he's hurt. So we'll finish today. Let's see if Steven Fuentes can give another solid outing. Still a game and a half back from the Brewers. And uh, look who we have a two-game series against here. Let's uh, at the um, House of Horrors, Miller Park. Can we at least guarantee a split of the series today? No. Can we split the series now? Yes. Okay. 10-2. to two. Uh, Got out in front early and just pretty much stayed out there. Um Beer with five RBI, Madrigal with two himself. Madrigal now batting uh, two, almost 250. So, Brew Baker, look at that, going all nine innings. 5K, two earned runs. Hey, good for you, JT. Good for you, my friend. Uh, so now we have some against the uh, Washington Nationals coming up. Uh, Nationals behind us in the wild card race. We're a half game out of the second wild card spot. Um, and we're still a game and a half back from the Brewers here. So we're keeping pace with the best of the best. Um, let's see. We got a four game series against the Nationals. I feel like we never do well against the Nationals, but um, we'll see here. Two, a five to two loss. Eight three win. Matt Hall's complete his DL time. Okay. Um, Oh, look at look what we have here. We have a couple of our um, prospects up. Evan Sieri is up in the bigs, 21 years old. And then we also have Thomas White, our little lefty project here. Uh, looks like he's taking a couple steps forward. And 
number the 13 overall prospect uh, in the majors has the talent to anchor a rotation down the line. So um, we have some of our our best pro not projects, but our best um, best guys up here now, which is actually quite exciting. So we got the eight to three win. I haven't looked at that yet. So boom, two for five. Madrigal two for five. Uh, Tucker two for three, uh, Beck seven and two thirds innings pitched, and hey, Sierra, there you are, four uh, K, and uh, so all outs by Evan Sierra were strikeouts. Uh, that is promising. I love that. You love to see that. Two games back. Let's see. Can we clinch uh, at least a split of the series here against the Nationals? Yes, we can with a nine five victory. Um, Big offensive uh, support. We've been driving in runs left and right, I feel like. Uh, knock on wood. Don't want to jinx us. Blade, four RBI. Um, Beer, uh, two for four. Boom, three for six. Um, let's see, pitching-wise, Rocker goes seven and a third. Four Ks. Another good start. 67 game score. Blade, the player of the game. So, all right, now let's see if we can clinch a series win and win three straight against the Nationals. And it looks like all-star voting begins, so we'll take a look at that. Okay, 9-3 win. We get the uh, we get the series win against the Nationals and uh, a potential threat to the wild card, too. So conversion on the hits and runs were, pr were pretty good there. We got out in front early, two in the crooked numbers in the first three innings. Uh, beer, two for four with two RBI. And then Carson Kelly, what up, my friend? Two for four with six RBI. The man had a game, my friend, a game. Madrigal, hey, eight stolen bases. Wow. Um, Fuentes, three and two-thirds. He get hurt. Oh, God, he was hurt while pitching. What do we have? Back stiffness. Okay, not the worst. Sierra coming through, three and, three and a third, two Ks. I mean, this guy. This guy showing out in his uh, Major League debuts here. So we'll look at the all-star voting here after after the month is over. We got the day off. That's great. Uh, let's go back to the front office, see what's new here. Uh, game and a half back from the Brewers still. The Brewers are hanging tough. Um, in sole control right now of the second wild card spot, that will likely change uh, quite a bit. Uh, that will probably, you know, teams will probably cycle through that um, often. So, uh, now, yeah, okay, our runs against are pretty good. Bullpen, ERA is pretty good. Starters are struggling a little bit, but our offense, we have the most runs scored in the NL, knock on wood, uh, this far. So, all right, let's continue simming here. Let's, let's work through the end of the month. Uh, we have the Reds. Let's see our next two opponents, the Reds, 23 and 23. They're at 500, which in any other division might be good, but not this one this year. Um, they're uh, fourth out of five teams. They're still in the periphery uh, periphery uh, at five and a half games back. And then the team after that, the Diamondbacks, 18 and 30, 10 games back. So hopefully we can, we can snag some wins here to bolster our chances. So, um, all right, let's see. Can we clinch the series opening win against the Reds? We can two to one victory. That is uh, that's big, and um, yeah, not too much to talk about there. Magical three three hits uh, and four bats, um, and that was about it. He Magical accounted for half our team's hits this game. Paddock going eight innings, uh, seven Ks, five hits, one walk. Great game. Rogers his sixth save of the season. Uh, Paddock looking good. Um, get some revenge on the Reds. Um, so let's see, can we clinch the series win against the Reds, which would be great. We can, 8-7 to seven win. So let's see what happened there. Boom, going 1-4 for four with 3 RBI. Blade 2-4 for four with 2 RBI. Magical 2-3 for three with 2, uh, or with 1 RBI. So Magical is bringing that average up and quick. That's quite impressive there on him. He can rack some hits together. Um, and then pitching-wise... Five and Brew Baker went five and two thirds, not a great outing. Seven runs, uh, given up. Magical player of the game. All right, so can we get the sweep of the Reds? Ooh, that would be great. 
That would be great. Let's see. It's tough. Tough to sweep. Tough to sweep teams. It is very tough to sweep teams. Uh, and we'll actually go into June 1st so that we can finish out the, the Diamondbacks uh, series. So, all right, let's see. We're a half game back from the Brewers. Oh, how do you lose to them? Come on. You got you to gotta at least take this game. You got to win the series. We did. We received the message. Thomas White, Evan Sieri. Looks like they're taking big steps. National League fan voting. Let's check this out while we're here, I guess. Actually, hold on. Let's go to player development. We're going to check this out first. Thomas White. Okay. I mean, he's getting he's getting beat up a little bit in his pro debut. I mean, that happens. Um, Evan Sieri. I mean, this guy is just money so far for us. I like it. All right, we're going to keep supporting them both. Uh, Jackson Reese. Looks like he's improved, quote-unquote. All right, National League fan voting now. So catcher, we don't have anyone there. First base, no one there. Second base, no one there. Third base, Cabrian Hayes is right behind Nolan Arenado. I feel like he'll be there forever. Shortstop, mm, kind of a snub. I feel like it's kind of a snub for Royce. Big-time snub. Dansby Swanson, are you fucking kidding me? Alec Thomas leading the way for uh, left fielders. That's appropriate. Um, no one in right. DH. Wow. Talk about getting just absolutely. We got to vote for our guys. This is this offense. We have too many good players for us only to get one guy into the All Star break. We're 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 packing the ballot here. Usually I don't do stuff like this. Like packing the ballots, I'll just vote straight up who I think. But this is this is preposterous. Um, okay, maybe not pitchers. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna vote for Paddock, and I'm gonna vote for Kumar Rocker, and then relief pitchers. You bet your bottom dollar I'm voting for Trevor Rogers. Bet your bottom freaking dollar. And you know what? Forget it. I'll vote for Tommy Doyle, too. I'll do it. Catcher. Um, yeah, like, look at that. War, one war. He's right with everybody else. Right with Will Smith. Right with um, um, Joey Bart. Yeah, get in there, Carson Kelly. You deserve that all-star vote. <clears throat> Boom, 1.4 war. You're hanging with everyone. You deserve that all-star vote. Let's see. Madrigal, 0.4 war. Okay, you don't really deserve that that vote. Third base, Hayes, 1.9 war. Right there with, with Arenado. Please, get in there. You deserve that. Screw you, Arenado. Shortstop. I feel like this was a robbery. Am I right? One war. Wow. Lindor, 2.8 war. Yikes. All right, maybe not. Sorry, uh, sorry there, Royce. Alec Thomas, for sure, we're going to bolster that case. Get in there. Uh, let's see. Right field, Blade already putting him in. 1.7 war. Uh, yeah, you're up there. Maybe maybe he doesn't deserve it, but we're going to throw it in there. And then DH. Who's our DH? Beer? 0.4 war. 0.7. Yeah, you're up there. Go for it. All right. They deserve it. Don't at me. Don't at me. Anyways, let's get back to what we were originally doing after that rabbit hole detour. 6-0 shutout victory against the Diamondbacks. Hayes and Bohm went two for four with two RBI each. And Fuentes. I mean, what a poor guy. Just terrible start to the season. Bounces back. Looks like a bad record. But the pitch pretty well. 8K. No earned runs. No runs. Eight and a third inning pitched. It's a pretty good game. And then, let's see. So let's end the series with the Diamondbacks here. Take the series. Win the series. 10-0 win. 
10 nothing win. And as if I couldn't have planned it perfectly enough, you may have noticed something in the top left corner. We are now in first place of the NL Central at 31 and 21. Look at that. Coming back from an 0 3 start. Madrigal, I'm sorry, Senzel, Madrigal, and Lewis all had two hits. Uh, Lewis, Senzel had three RBI. Madrigal and Tucker both had two RBI. Paddock, eight and two thirds, 12 Ks, three hits, two walks. Great, great game. And our boy uh, Thomas White here, 1K, third inning pitched, and uh, a hit allowed. So, as if I can't believe that, I couldn't even, if I could have scripted that, it would have been too perfect. It wouldn't have made sense. Um, someone hurt here. I don't know why we don't have uh, someone in the ye old lineup. But couldn't have scripted that better myself. First place in the division, half game above the Brewers. The Brewers are the number one wild card team. So this is a tough division. Let's see how the chemistry is doing. We're happy now. That's great. Nick Madrigal is trying to best to keep his room in check. All right. So it looks like our team's improved a little bit there. Alec Thomas, the third best left fielder now at this point. One, two, three. Yeah, I mean, look, this is a team that can compete right here for a world championship, 100%. Let's go to the front office and look at the personnel. Are we fighting? Is our is our team fighting now? Feuding? Who the hell is still feuding? Mike Sosha? Really? Is he the issue here? Is Mike Sosha the issue? Or an issue here? I don't know if I want to get rid of him, though. He's a great coach. I feel like I'm going to have to keep him. How is Mike Sosha a personable personality and struggles with personable personalities? That makes zero sense. All right. Well, regardless, can we increase ticket prices? <laughs> such a that's such a pirates bob nutting thing to say. Um, yeah, we're playing pretty well. Let's uh, let's try to let's try to make some money on this team, right? Hey, if you want uh, if you want good players, you got to pay for them, right? That's what that's what old Bobby would say. I do. Yep, does live in Wheeling. I know a little bit about Bob. I know people who have, who have, uh, I can tell you some Bob stories. Uh, but I won't, but I will not. And in all, in all honesty, I hear he is actually like a very nice guy. Um, and the stories I have aren't bad. So don't sit there thinking like, oh, I have bad Bob stories. I don't. Um, but yeah, anyways, first place in the NL Central through the month of May. Riding on a hot streak here. Our pitching, some good, some bad. Um, our offense, beast mode. It's like that meme with the dog. There's the there's the Hulk out dog. That's our offense, and then the other dog, it's like, like with the uh, with the collapsed head, is uh, is the pitching. But it's not that bad. The pitching hasn't been that bad. Uh, defense uh, looks like we're playing pretty good defense. Let's see how we stack up against the rest. Uh, of the of the um, teams here in the standings, so look at expanded standings. We're one game worse than what we should be. So I mean, we have that plus sixty four run differential, tied for the second best run differential in the in Major League Baseball, and the best run differential in the National League. Um, one and two in extra inning games, five and four in one run game. So nothing really fluky about that. Um, yo, we rake. You have a left-handed pitcher. We will crush that left-handed pitcher. Righties, we're about fifty percent. So, uh, yeah, throw us, throw some lefties our way. Oh, we got some stuff popping up here. Um, 
let's see any standings. We'll also take a quick look at the standings while we're here. Don't mean to prolong the video any longer than it has to be. I hate, I kind of have a habit of doing that at times. But we'll just look at the NL at a glance and we'll see if anyone just, if anyone's sticking out here. So, no, nope, not combined because the, I don't believe that the, uh, the NL, that the AL is a real league. So, we'll look at NL. And Blade leading the NL in home runs. Blade second in, or er, tied for fourth in RBI. Thomas sixth in on base percentage. Blade fourth in slugging. Blade sixth in on, on OPS. Um, let's see. Blade second in runs. Alec Thomas second in, or er, tied for first in caught stealing. Stolen bases. Look at this. See, this is why I want to keep track of that. Three out of the five Pirates tops, uh, or th three out of the six top base dealers in the National League are Pirates. Alec Thomas, second at 13. Royce Lewis uh, tied for fourth at 11. And then Nick Madrigal at six with 10. Bladé, 118 total bases, fourth there. Bohm with three triples, tied for fifth. Bohm with 18 doubles, tied for fourth. I mean, we are just littered through here. Sack flies, Royce Lewis has four. Um, extra base hits. Boom, fifth with 29. Blade, six with 28. Our fingerprints all over these standings. Isolated power. Blade, um, with uh, uh, in the third spot there. Uh, wild. So let's look at pitching leaders. Uh, Paddock and Beck. Paddock tied for wins so with seven. Beck tied for fourth with six. Wins don't mean all that much, though. Uh, Paddock, fifth with innings pitched. Paddock, uh, fifth with walk with lowest walks per nine. Fuentes, uh, tied for six with run with home runs against with thirteen in a bad way. Um, and then Paddock, I don't know what R A nine WAR means to be quite honest. So, I maybe that's just pitching WAR. If that's the case, I had no idea that was. Uh, win percentage, Kumar Rocker, first place, still batting a thousand or pitching a thousand, I should say. And then Jackson Reese, uh, professional holder, uh, maybe we should call him. Five holds, uh, leads the NL. And then quality starts, Chris Paddock sits alone at the top with eight. So, um, I mean, so far so good. Any wild streaks going here? Extra base hit streak, Blade. Uh, led with eight. I don't know if these are. I don't know if these are current or not. I doubt. Oh, okay. Apostrophe means they're not apostrophe. Asterix uh, does not mean steroids. It means pr uh, active. So Bohm is in an, is in a seven game scoring streak right now. Um, let's see any other crazy hits or crazy streaks. Shutdown streak. Bednar is in. Um, he's looks like he's back in Indianapolis but has a eight-inning shutdown streak going. Kumar Rocker has a 12-game undefeated streak going. That is wild. Fuentes had a seven-game losing streak. Feel bad for him. Um, hitting streak, yeah. No one active. The longest of the season was 18. And that looks like that's about it. Pretty good. Pretty good start to the season. We're in command. Well, I, we're not in command of first place. We are in first place, the NL Central. Have a little bit of a way to go. We had quite the surge there uh, in May, and then we then we kept it going in June. So I'm looking forward, or kept. we had quite the surge in April. We kept it going in May, and now I'm very excited to see how it goes in June. So thanks for joining me here. Stay tuned to the next video. We will sim through June and see how it goes. Thanks. I'll see you.